Hello everyone, it's Jennifer. Um, it is Friday, July 15th, 2011. Um, my work schedule and my sleep schedule cause me to always forget what day it is, so I apologize for that. Um, I want to start this video off by thanking um, everyone who was so supportive, either through comments or personal messages, um, for my last video, which was my, like, probably one of my worst breakdowns in a while. <laughs> um, when I first started making videos on YouTube, I wasn't sure that this would be a beneficial thing for me to do. I was actually afraid that it would be detrimental. I was afraid that I wouldn't, um, wouldn't be able to find the support that I needed. And that has been absolutely the exact opposite of what has occurred. So without this group, without this network, being available on YouTube and without your guys' support, I would have absolutely no support with this um, and nobody to talk to about this stuff. So I I owe you a debt of gratitude. I can't even probably repay you. Um, maybe I'll buy you guys all some protein shakes or something. I don't know. Or I don't know. When we go to the next meet and greet, maybe I'll like by, you know, get us all some bottled, fancy bottled water or something, I don't know. But I do need to repay you guys because I can't thank you enough in words. So just to let you guys know, um, sorry, my phone's ringing. I had it disconnected and for some reason, I've had it disconnected two days ago, for some reason it's still ringing. They said they disconnected it, but apparently not. Anyway, I do want to thank um, Eric, um, who is not so plump on YouTube, Stephanie, which is Bandit Stephanie, um, Kristen, which is Kiki Rocks 85, um, and then I had some new um, people who had commented for the first time or that I didn't even know were watching my videos. But Gastric Rose, Curly Drama Queen, Cancer Free 200, and I am happy to be myself. Um, thank you for being first time noters, commenters. I don't know if you've ever watched me before, but. Um, the fact that you've never commented before and I don't know if you've ever watched me and then you left such supportive, wonderful, uplifting comments, I really, really appreciate it. And I also want to say thank you to Josh, which is J-R-I-V-512 um, or 572, I can't remember, I think it's 512. Um, because even though he didn't comment on the last video, the messages that he has given me, um, personal messages, have been very, very, very helpful. Um, and I just greatly appreciate it. So, on to the video now. Um, <clears throat> there isn't a whole lot to update. I was supposed to be doing my psych eval today at 1 o'clock. It is now 2.12, so apparently I didn't go. Um, I was all prepared to go, and then I realized, shit, I don't have any money for parking. <laughs> isn't that a horrible thing to have to cancel your appointment over, is you have no money for parking. I get paid on Wednesdays, and I completely forgot that I even had this appointment. And I know that they reimburse you for parking, but I don't know if they reimburse you, if it's like, just come and you don't have to pay for parking, or if it's come, pay for parking, and then we'll give you, you know, the money back or whatever. But I didn't want to drive, excuse me, I didn't want to drive all the way out to the hospital and then find out the hard way that I couldn't park and then have to come home because I don't have a whole lot of gas, um, and I have to get to work for the next three days. And my work is probably the same distance as the hospital that I have to go to. So um, I've been trying to get a hold of them to reschedule that appointment because I have to have the psych eval done and I have to have the um, the uh, meeting with the exercise physiologist. I have to have both of those appointments completed before I can see my surgeon on August 26th or August 28th. I forgot. But I have to have both those done before I can meet with him because that appointment with him is when I schedule my surgery. And they have to know that everything has been met and everything is cool. So um, I'm really bummed that I had to cancel that appointment today. Um, I could go on about how certain people owe me money <laughs> and haven't paid me back. But I won't because I'm trying to get rid of all the bitterness and frustration and get rid of it. Um, anyway, I just wanted to um, also add on here really quick... Um, I know a lot of people say that they're doing it for health reasons, and a lot of you guys I know have some health concerns, and you're doing it um, the surgery primarily to as a preventative measure because other people in your family have been sick, 
<clears throat> excuse me, have been sick or you have had a couple issues and um, you don't want to get to the point to where those issues are detrimental or you don't want to get to those uh, the point to where those issues even come up or hinder your life in any way. That being said, can you see the stack right here? Right here, all these bills. This is what um, this is what ten grand in medical bills looks like um, with insurance. These are not the medical bills themselves. These are just the deductibles. I have over ten grand in just deductibles to pay. So when I say I'm sick, I'm not kidding. <laughs> I am not well. Um, this is everything from my back surgery, my gallbladder surgery, my sleep studies, um, what else? Uh, what else did I have to, oh, my colonoscopies, my, uh, I don't even know what else is in here. Family doctor stuff, CT scans, sinus surgery, which I'm having another one in, I'm having my second sinus surgery in three weeks, so we'll see about that. And anesthesia, obviously, you know, they always have to get their cut. Um, so I'm filing bankruptcy because on top of the 10000 a little over 10000 in medical bills with insurance, this is with state Medicaid that I had. I now have Medicaid and Medicare because at 31 years old, I received Social Security Disability because my health concerns qualified me to receive help and for a substantial amount of time I could not work because of my health concerns. Um, I am trying to go back to work now which is why I'm working part-time and I don't want to be on disability for a long time um, but I need it right now so at any rate um, on top of all these I have about mm, I don't know 15,000 in credit card bills that I've racked up partially due to health concerns partially because I am someone who loves to spend money and I didn't have any money so I should have been spending it and I did um, and then like just miscellaneous things that I shouldn't get into right now but um, I mean my monthly bills are not that bad I can afford my monthly bills but and obviously I can afford to live on my own. It's just, it's very, when people say that they don't want universal health care and they don't want everyone to be taken care of, I find that extremely cruel and ridiculous regardless of your political affiliation because uh, everybody should be able to get health care. Everybody should be able to afford their health care. Um, nobody should have to say, I can't go to the doctors because I don't have money or I can't have a life-saving surgery because I don't have the money. Um, it's, that's that's ridiculous to me and <clears throat> I know that I'm not alone in having to file bankruptcy because of medical bills but it is still not something I'm proud of I I don't know I just that's one one area of stress and that um it taking August is going to be a very busy month with, with medical issues and I have the surgery and normally um, my ex Noah would take me to my surgeries but I don't think he's going to take me now um, so I mean we've been broken up since October but it's like now things are really really over and we're not talking every day anymore and he has moved on and I'm talking to a couple people but not on a serious level like he is so I can't really expect him to I mean even though we're really good friends still I can't really expect him to drop everything and take me to the hospital yet again so I don't know who I want to have take me to that surgery because my mom's not talking to me anymore um, my sister is never here and my dad lives in South Carolina so I don't know I may end up having to take a taxi to get my surgery done both my sinus surgery and my gastric bypass surgery um, and then just take a taxi home because I see, when I say I don't have any support here, I don't have any support here. So, um, I don't know. I, I guess that wouldn't be, like, too, too terribly bad. Um, but, well, you know, we'll see. Um, anyway, it's a long video, and I just wanted to um, let you guys know that 
Once again, things had to get postponed to our surgery, but I'm hoping the things, I mean, hopefully they'll call me back and I can reschedule for August because I have so many things in August. I have another sleep study, which would be wonderful because I need my CPAP machine, excuse me, horribly bad. I need to get some sleep um, because that combined with all the stress is causing little breakdowns like you saw in the last video. So, um, and I've got the, the sleep study, the sinus surgery, I've got my medical clearance, I've got my appointment with the surgeon, I have my exercise physiologist appointment, I have a appointment with my family doctor to get my letter of intent from her so that she can write the letter stating Jennifer needs this for medical reasons, she's not been able to lose weight, blah, 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 blah. And now I have to hope I can get my psych appointment. And so... Wish me luck, because you all know how hard it is to get into appointments with psychiatrists or, psychi or psychologists. Um, at any rate, that's all I have for today. I'm um, still not taking my vitamins yet. I take multivitamin every day, but I'm not taking like the iron or the vitamin D or the vitamin B12 or the calcium. I'm not taking any of that yet, um, because I want to wait until I start, um, until I start my pre-op diet um, that I have to have, not the pre-op diet that you start two weeks before surgery. I'm talking about the pre-op diet that I have to start so I can lose the 10 pounds before I see my surgeon on the 26th. So um, starting like, I don't know, the 1st of August, I'm going to start doing the protein shake and soup type deal, and that's really all I'm going to eat. Um, gonna Obviously that's going to completely eliminate carbs, but I'm also, I'm going to... Um, Tried in maybe some salads here and there, um, and possibly some lunch meat that's got you know protein on it. But other than that, I'm not really going to be eating like the nachos and spaghetti and pizza and stuff that I've been eating. So hopefully within that three weeks, I'll lose the weight that I need to lose and more for my appointment with my surgeon, and then I will also do those vitamins at that time. And I'm still looking for some good protein shakes, so. Um, I'm very, very picky. I like chocolate and that's pretty much all I like. Like chocolate is about it. Um, I might be able to do like a lemonade if it's more like a crystal light kind of thing, but I'm really picky with flavors and food in general. So if you have any good recommendations, I will definitely take them. Um, anyway, this is all and I hope you have a good week and I look forward to hearing from you all and congrats on all your success because you guys are all doing fantastic. I love watching your videos. They're so inspirational. So I will talk to you guys again soon and thanks again for the support. Have a great week. Bye-bye.